A new look tonight inside the arrest of State Representative Mary Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh was charged with driving under the influence. Livonia police say she was swerving on I-96 with two flat tires. This was back in February. If convicted, it would be her second OWI offense. Tonight, our Megan Woods has body camera video of the arrest. In this video, you see State Representative Mary Cavanaugh not only get pulled over by police, but taking sobriety tests and ultimately getting arrested. All right, Mary, so what happened to your tires? Both tires on the driver's side were flat. That's what initially caught the attention of the officer who pulled her over. He also wrote she was swerving in and out of lanes on I-96. You're yeah. coming back from Lansing? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't see you on Merriman? Okay. Where are you going to come back from? Lansing. But you're on Merriman. Kavanaugh said she didn't know what happened to her tires. It takes her a minute to find her license. Then the officer says. How much have you had to drink tonight? Uh, two glasses. Two glasses of what? Red wine. When asked to take that breathalyzer test, Kavanaugh replies. So I'd like to wait. I just. You'd like to wait? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean wait? Eventually, she takes the test. There you go, 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 go. All right. Mary, legal limit in Michigan is a point oh eight. okay? You blew a point one six one seven six. That first breathalyzer result is just an estimate, but enough for an arrest. A blood test taken later, according to the police report, showed her level to be point two zero. That result is what's admissible in court. Her attorney, Todd Perkins, said she is seeking treatment for her alcohol addiction, but hopes this situation doesn't jeopardize her job as a state representative. She's never left work. Um, she's never not been uh, accessible to her, her constituents. And she's able to do these things and continue to seek the necessary uh, counseling and support that she would need to, um, to grow. In a statement posted on Kavanaugh's Instagram, she talks about how she intends to address this situation further, but that will be at a later time. She also apologizes to our community and colleagues for causing this distraction, and she asks for grace, stating, what I can offer you is the very real truth that addiction is a hard road to travel. It is a road that may get easier with education, counseling, and treatment, all of those which I am fully engaged. In Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4.